All right, so now the question is, what is the main difference between joins and data blending? Data blending is like a lift join, but the main difference here is that when the aggregation is gonna be performed. In joins, the data can combine first and then the aggregation can happen, but in data blending, it's exactly the opposite. The aggregation gonna happen first and then the data gonna be combined. So now let's have a simple example in order to understand what this means. Okay, so again, we have our tables, customers and orders. First, we're gonna do the lift join and afterward, we're gonna do the data blending between them in order to understand the differences between them in the output. All right, so now we're gonna start with the left join. You know left join, all the data from the left side and only the matching on the right side. So we start as usual by combining the fields from left, the fields from right, and we start record by record. So we're gonna take the customer number one and we're gonna search for the matches. We have two rows on the orders. So that means Maria gonna be twice in the output because there is two orders. And then we're gonna go to the next one, customer ID number two. We have only one order for that. We're gonna have it at the output. And George don't have any orders. So that means we're gonna have nulls. Null here, here, and here. So as you can see with the left join, First, we combine the data, the raw data, without doing any aggregations. And afterward, in the visualizations, we can find, for example, the sum of sales or the average and so on. And now let's check the data blending, how it works. All right, so now let's say we have all the fields from the primary data source and beside it, all the fields from the secondary data source. And this is like lift join. We're going to take all the data from the primary data source. So we're going to get all the three customers over here. But the main difference here is that there will be no duplicate. As you can see, we have here Maria twice, but in data blending, you will not get any duplicates. And now here comes the difference. Before we start getting the data from the orders from the secondary data source, an aggregation gonna happen. So for example, with the customer ID number one, we have two rows. The two rows will not be presented at the output. First, it's gonna be like an aggregation. And now it's very important to understand that the fields in Tableau are split between dimensions and measures. In the next tutorials, I'm gonna explain that in details, but now, the measures can be aggregated, the dimensions will not be aggregated. So for example, the customer ID, it is not a measure, it is a dimension. So Tableau cannot aggregate it. But since we have it twice the same value, Tableau gonna write here one. And then the next one, we have the sales, it is measure, so Tableau gonna aggregate first and then combine it. So the sum of that's gonna be 80. So let's do that. And the next one, we have the date. So here it is a dimension cannot be like aggregated. And since we have two different values, Tableau gonna write at the output a star. And since Tableau gonna provide at the output only one value, and we have here two values, Tableau will not decide which one of them gonna be. So Tableau gonna add a star. So what's gonna happen in the output gonna be star. I know this is really not nice. But this is how data blending works. So as you can see, Tableau always try to aggregate the data before combine it. Now let's move to the next customer. We have John and in the orders, we have only one records. That means nothing going to be aggregated. The output is going to be exactly the same. And then for the customer, George, there is no information over here. We will get as well nulls. And this is the output of data blending. And this is exactly what I mean with the main differences between joins and blending is when we do the aggregations. So in the left join, as you can see, first we combine the raw data together and afterward we can do aggregations in the visualizations. But in data blending, first the data should be aggregated, especially from the secondary data source and afterwards the data gonna be combined in Tableau. All right, so with that, we have learned the main differences between joins and data blending. And next, it's important one, we will learn the main differences between joins and relationships. 